late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 5 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Plus, they can instantly change the color of your eyes, but can also cause permanent damage. The risks of those over-the-counter contacts and where we found them being sold illegally. A hot trend in eyewear could cause permanent eye damage. Channel 2's Tom Regan found out how illegal contacts are showing up in local stores and what makes them so dangerous. Tom? Well, Javita, decorative contacts like these are easy to buy over the counter. They're much cheaper than what you get from your eye doctor. But experts say the money saved is not worth putting your vision at risk. what they look like. Huge, very doll-like. They're an eye-catching. This is what they look like. Even outrageous fashion accessories. And these are the cheapest and the best ones I found. Decorative contact lenses. So they're a purple color. A cheap way to change your look. To change the color of my eyes. Felisa Ann Brown told me a few weeks ago she bought tinted, non-prescriptive contact lenses like these from an Atlanta flea market for about 20 bucks. Did you just think they were safe? Yes. But three days later, she woke up with a horrible burning sensation in her eyes. It was red. It was puffy. Um, it had a lot of running, water running from my eyes. I really, honestly, I really thought I was going blind. Felisa's doctor told her she had developed a severe infection in her corneas, similar to the condition you see here. The white part of the eye was inflamed. Also, the cornea was inflamed. However, she had not developed a corneal ulcer, which is the thing we worry most about. I can do anything. I can even drive. I can even, I can even turn my lights on in my house. Doctors say decorative contact lenses that are not prescribed or professionally fitted can cause permanent injury. Over-the-counter lenses also may have an expired shelf life, may not be sterilized, and could even be recycled lenses worn by other people. I mean, you definitely don't want to play Russian roulette with your vision, I think, if you're going to just uh, take a, a stab in the dark as to whether the contact lenses fit or not. That's what you're doing. Our undercover producer had no difficulty finding and buying decorative contact lenses at two separate locations, including this convenience store. I mean, we sell like a bunch of them and never had any complaints. So. The contact lenses were made in Korea. The box stamped with a logo of the Food and Drug Administration. But when I contacted the FDA, I was told the brand was not registered in their database. The FDA also said it's illegal to sell lenses over the counter without a prescription. According to the Georgia Optometric Association, it's a felony to sell contact lenses without a license. Do you know that those are legal to sell unless you're a licensed optometrist? No, I did not know yeah. that. Okay, I did not know that, and I will be happy to take those down. Okay. Because that's the first time hearing of it. Yeah, just look here at my ear. Felisa told me she couldn't drive or even go outside for nearly a week following her eye infection. Antibiotics healed her vision. She says she learned a painful lesson about over-the-counter contacts. Things still look blurry to me, but I can see better. I advise no one to buy them. If they're not prescribed by your doctor, do not buy them. Well, I spoke with the owner of the gas station that was selling the decorative contacts. He told me he is sending the shipment back to his distributor. For more information on the risk of over-the-counter contacts, just go to our website, wsbtv.com.